Let's, uh, let's go on to one of our favorite segments. And we got a good one this week. Good, good, good one. And this segment is brought to you by my friends at Stamps.com, which is postage for your PC. And Stamps.com has a free account for eBay sellers that you can get to through Stamps.com slash Danny. And they also have their pro version. Now, I personally use the pro version, which is about 15 bucks a month. And they send you a free scale. They send you about, oh gosh, what is it, like $100 worth of goodies when you, when you start off. Now, the reason for the pro version versus just the free eBay stores version is with the pro version, you can print postage to anywhere. It doesn't just have to be your eBay sales. Whereas the eBay version, it's just for your eBay sales. Okay, so I send stuff to family and friends. I can do my Etsy stuff through there. Any other channel that I sell through, I can do it through there. And of course, I ship out books and materials to different people, so I do that all through stamps.com. And love, love, love them. Love, love, love them. Okay, so now it's time for... Score of the Week. And we run the thread over on the Facebook group. That's facebook.com slash group slash the Danny app. And it's pinned to the top every Sunday. We start talking about scores. And even if you don't feel like sharing one, although we wish you would, it's really great to get ideas of things you may not have thought about to sell. Gosh, you know, sometimes I look at those scores and go, holy moly, I've passed one of those. You know, so I love the thread. I love it. So here we go. Here's some of our, our top sellers this week. And our first one is from Sarah Farrett. She purchased this needlepoint Christmas stocking kit for $3. Oh, yeah, you guys, you can find needlepoint kits for cheap. My mom specializes in these. You guys have any questions over on the Danny App group? You can ask her. She's really refined the art of, of finding and listing these things. She said she had no idea these were worth anything until she started watching the show. Yay and seeing them sell. Uh, she couldn't find a similar one, so went for the gusto. Love that. Put it on sale for $125, or best offer, and within minutes, she accepted a best offer of $90. And so you guys do the math, that's $87 profit. <laughs> yes? Okay, and some of you are going, oh, but what if she could have gotten more that came way too fast? And there goes my little mantra, what is it? Can't go broke making a profit. Huge profit. Boom. Out the door. Sold. Uh, on a $3 purchase. I love it. That is item number 2310-6589-1565. And it was a Christmas stocking kit that was the Peaceful Kingdom Lion and Lamb. Yay! So be looking for those needlepoint kits. Look, look, look for them. They, and they're everywhere. Okay. So this is like semi-morbid, guys. This is just a little bit. But if you go to estate sales and thrift stores, <sighs> there's a lot of needlepoint type stuff because we are dealing with a more elderly crowd donating this type of stuff or having this at their uh, estate sale, okay? And most estate sale Organizers truly do not put any value in this stuff. Vintage yarn, needle craft, it's eh. They want to sell the antiques, collectibles, and furniture that's worth big bucks. So just saying, watch for that stuff. It'll be, it'll be grossly underpriced. All right, here's our highest profit margin. Oh, and I love this. And what I did was I have actually a piece of this glass of my own, so I can show you kind of live and in person what it looks like. This is from Lori Olson Moreno, who purchased this Josephina Crosno Plish Art Glass Bowl for $5. Item number 26125769 And it sold for $219.99. So just what you can see, I'm sure you guys have seen this glass. I'm sure you have. Now, this isn't the exact piece that Lori had, but one of the keynotes of this type glass is these spindly little footed things. That's, that's pretty popular. And like this one is not marked. 
at all. You kind of have to know what it is, okay? Um, but it's made in Poland, or is it Poland or, or Czech? Somewhere around that area. I think it's Polish. Uh, but it's got a very classic look when you find it. So if you find this type of glass, sells for big bucks, and most people don't know what it is because it's lost its label, but you can list it as this Krasnos glass. Okay? Yep. And I need to get this one listed. I'm so bad. I haven't listed that. Is that a technical spindly little things? Of course that's a technical term. Don't they look like spindly little things? <laughs> yes, that's the Danny app technical term. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, how would you ship that? Good question. So I would wrap some bubble wrap around each one of these, but also stuff it in here, give it some support. Again, maybe wrap some cardboard around here just to give some extra support right there, and then bubble wrap the whole thing. Yep. Yep. You guys can do this, especially with a $200 profit margin attached, right? Somebody pays you $200, figure out how to ship that. You're going to do it, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yep. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Nice, nice going, Lori. Nice going. All right, how about a Halloween score? And I already knew about this one because I got to spend the day with Tracy. This is from Tracy Copen. She purchased this Jim Shore Light Up Haunted House Decoration. Uh, and she got this at an estate sale for $15. And it's item number 35088744-7798. And this is just the coolest thing. And it sold for $169.99. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Yeah, Jim Shore stuff, you guys. There's a lot of different Jim Shore stuff out there, and it sells really well. Really well. Obviously, they thought it was good because they priced it at like $15, but they didn't know how good it was. So very exciting. And, of course, it's Halloween time. It's the perfect time for that to, to have been listed and sold. So... Awesome sauce. Okay, we've got a consignment score. This comes from Lori Grawl Sadowski. And you guys, I apologize ahead if I butcher your names. I'm very bad at reading names. Very, very bad. All right. So this is a Medela breast pump that she sold uh, for a best offer. And it sold after only being listed for 12 hours. And it's item number 26130156-6096, and she got $110. Now, I will tell you guys, it hasn't been too long ago that I had my last little one. There's a lot of moms that need these. Working moms need these to go back to work, but they still want to breastfeed their babies. So they're really expensive, really expensive. And even if a hospital rents it one to you, it's still really expensive. So they look on eBay to go find one, and they're perfectly happy to buy a used one because it can be sterilized and everything's good. And they sell for big money. Um, and, and they sell for even bigger money than this. There's different models. But always take a second look at these electric breast pumps. And Medela is a really good name. It's a really good brand name. Yep, yep, yep. And April knows all about these. So, April, are you going to sell yours when you're done with it? Because there's, there's mamas out there are always needing these. So, yep, exactly. Exactly. So, guys, you got to be looking for these, too. Sorry. <laughs> Don't pass by $100 bills. <laughs> very, very nice. Very nice. All right. Okay, so I love this one. This is from our very own Luna, Luna Ayuni. I know her as Martha. Um, she paid $9 for this, and it's a no-name teapot, okay? There's no name on the bottom. It's strictly about eye appeal, and this is Martha's specialty. She sells Turkish coffee sets and teapots and cups and saucers, and all things to do with tea and coffee and all that stuff. 
she has really started developing that, that brand. She has repeat customers. And she found this at a Salvation Army boutique. Um, out here, the Salvation Armies have a special little section that's their better stuff, okay? And this was there because of its, it's, it's cute. It's very cute. It's a pumpkin-shaped teapot. Uh, and this is, let me give you the item number. Where's my item number? There it is. 2513-4939-0115. So she got an offer of $30, and she countered it at $44, which they accepted. So, of course, it's the right time of the year, but mainly this is an item, I can tell you guys, sold on iAppeal, and the fact that this is her customer. She has the teapot and the coffee pot and all of those customers come into her store looking for just this type of stuff. So that's a great case. She paid nine bucks for it. She turned nine dollars into 44. I suspect a lot of you would do that. So it doesn't necessarily have to have a name. You just have to be able to put some keywords to it and take some really good pictures. You got some money. Got some money. All right, we got one more because this one's just awesome. I Love this. It makes another really good point. Uh, so this comes from Matt Tyler. He paid less than a dollar. Less than a dollar for this. Okay? And it's item number 17113031 Let me know when you guys got this. See what I'm looking at? This is crazy. How many of you would have picked that up? Honestly, take a vow. How many of you would have picked that up? I'm waiting. I'm waiting for those answers. No, I'm getting no's. Yeah, see, uh, but this is a specific breed that Matt actually knew it was called a pulley, a very expensive breed. Okay. And here's something that I'm always telling people that are out shopping with me. When you see anything breed specific, breed sells. Because there's some crazy pulley owner out there. Pulley is the name of the dog breed. There's some crazy pulley dog owner out there who saw this, said, oh, that's my dog. I have to have that. Ah! So... Uh, they grabbed that up for, oh, I didn't tell you how much I sold it for. $220. $220, yes. <laughs> now, of course, they're not all going to pay, you know, over $200 for a figurine. But this apparently was some rare figurine sculpted from newspaper, it looks like. So, very nice. Very, very nice. Love it, love it, love it. Um, yeah, breeds, guys. And the more rare the breed, meaning... The less you see them out there, you know, we see a lot of German Shepherds and Cocker Spaniels and all that, and those still sell. Don't get me wrong. Those breeds will sell, but when you find something like a Pulley or an Irish Wolfhound or some other real specialty breed that you, they don't make a lot of mass market things for, the price goes up. The price goes way up because people with animals are nuts, right? Am I right? Those of us who have animals, we're nuts, right? Yeah, we're crazy nuts. That's right, expensive dog. They got money for expensive items. You betcha. So right on. I love the scores, you guys. The thread's still going. It'll be up until tomorrow. It's still being added to. Go check it out. Go watch those scores. And I would love if you would add your score next week. Uh, hopefully everybody has a score to add next week. Like, Waving magic dust over all of your eBay stores. You guys all have a big score next week, okay? Come on over and join us and share your scores.